Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain why a magnet attracts iron. And not just iron, other ferromagnetic materials, and there are other magnetic materials like iron. First of all, let's look at the magnet. The magnet usually is made of steel, which contains iron, of course, and inside iron or steel, normally you have this kind of arrangement, or should I say, not this arrangement, but this lack of arrangement, that inside iron there are lots of little magnets. Every atom is a magnet, and it has a north and a south pole. But in the normal way of things, these are all arranged any old way, so they all cancel out. There's as many north poles as south poles in any direction. So it isn't, in overall terms, magnetic. The significance of iron is that when you actually put a magnet next to it, or you even put it in a magnetic field, like through using uh, an electric wire and make an electromagnet, the little uh, magnets inside all line up. And in fact, with steel, you can get them lined up and they will stay lined up. And that's why it becomes what we call a permanent magnet. Because what we've done is we've made all those little magnets inside all line up. So you end up with a north pole overall at this end and a south pole overall at this end. Well, if you've got a permanent magnet here and here you've got a piece of iron, when you bring the iron up to the magnet, it sees, the North Pole sees South Poles and is attracted. It sees North Poles and it repels. So North repels. North, South repels. South, but North attracts South. So if the poles are different, there's an attraction. If they are the same, there's a repulsion. So within this piece of iron, what is going to happen is all of the little domains, as we call them, inside, flip round. So all the souths face the north, and this becomes essentially another magnet. And the two attract. Of course, they stay attracted too because this is a permanent magnet. If this were an electromagnet, maybe when we switch it on and make our north-south magnet, this would line up and be attracted. But when we switch this off, the magnetism disappears and these would go back, maybe, to the alignment. This depends very much on the material and the way we make the magnet. So this is basically why a magnet attracts iron.